hello guys welcome back so now in this video we will be adding player movement but before adding the player movement first of all we need to set up the buttons for the movement okay for the controls or you or you can say for the buttons we will be using the new input system of unity okay so for that you will have to click on window package manager then change the packages type to unity registry and when you change it to unity registry search for input and as you can see this is the new input system right here click on install after a few seconds it will show you this warning window so just simply click on yes and what this will do is it will restart the editor okay now when the editor is restarted just simply close that and then in the game folder let's go ahead and create a new folder by the name of scripts in the scripts create two more folders the first one will be by the name of controls and the next one will be by the name of player all right in the player create a c sharp script by the name of input manager then click on scripts again click on controls and in the controls now we will create a new input action so if you click on create right here the input action is right down below which you guys can't see so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna drag and drop this project window from here to right here okay so that i can show you the thing okay so in the controls folder click on create and then in the create right down below you can see this input action so create an input action and name this as layer controls okay press enter that's it now let's try and drop this project window right down below and move it there okay now when you create player control input action right here if you click on it it will show you this generate c sharp script uh, checkbox so check it and click apply when you do that it will create this c sharp script as well okay so now let's go ahead and set up the buttons so if you double click on the input action which we just created it will show you this window Okay, if you double click on that and now in here we are ready to create our input buttons okay so first of all we will have to create our action map so click on plus sign let's name this as player movement when we create that in the actions we have this new action so let's rename it to movement change the action type to pass through and change the control type to vector 2 and then if you open this up in here we have this binding which we will be deleted and then click on plus sign again and select this second option add up down left right composite when you add that it will create this composite so you can name this as WAST because using the WAST keys we will be controlling our movement. Now for the up, we will select the W key of the keyboard. So just type W and when you type W, it will show you this option which is W keyboard. Okay, so select that. All right, for the down, we will be selecting the s key so type s right here the search box is not showing but just type s in there and select the s keyboard option okay in there then for the left we will select the a key of the keyboard so a keyboard for the right we will use the d keyboard key okay so now we will be able to control our movement the player movement using the WASD keys of the keyboard and for example if you want that your game can be run on some other platforms for example Xbox or PS then for that I will show you you can also add the 
movement inputs for the controller for that create another up down left right composite this time name this as a left stick and the reason I am naming this as left stick because in most of the games the movement is controlled by the left stick okay so uh, for moving forward or up we will use the left stick up so type left stick slash up okay select this gamepad okay not android gamepad ios gamepad or any other just select this left stick up gamepad okay for the down search for left sticks slash down gamepad for the left it will be left stick slash left gamepad for the right it is left stick slash right gamepad okay so now we will be able to move the character using any joystick okay xbox joystick or ps joystick or any other joystick okay so we can control the movement by keyboard and by joystick as well now all right once we have the input setup click on this cross sign and click on save so that all of these inputs are saved inside our player control c sharp script okay and then from there we can use these inputs okay if you check this script as you can see we have the wsd which we set the up down left right and then also for the left stick okay so we don't have to check this script we just have to click on player controller and this input manager script let's open this up and now i will show you how you can read inputs from the keyboard and also from the joystick so at the top add a reference to the player control c sharp script okay name it as player controls then create a public vector 2 by the name of movement input after this create our own enable method in which we will say that if the player controls is null then player controls will be equals to new player controls and then player controls dot player movement okay this is the action map which we created and then in the player movement we have the movement map as well let me show you what i'm talking about if you open up the controls folder double click on this as you can see we have the action maps player movement and the action movement in which we have this movement by the keyboard and by the controller okay so if any of the movement inputs are pressed which is either the keyboard or the controller so if they are performed then we're gonna read its value and store it inside the movement input vector 2 okay so i dot read value Right here it is not int it is just i okay so read value and then type vector 2 that's it so when we read its value we will store it inside the movement input all right and then we will say player control start enable all right then we're going to create the on disable method in which we will set the player controls 
to dot disable and that is all we have to do in this all right just make sure to give one space in there and add around brackets after the enable word then if we get back right here click on player folder and also click on player game object then drag and drop this script right there okay so this is the movement input x and y okay let me also connect my controller okay i have uh, connected my xbox controller as you can see right here joystick connected controller xbox 360 for windows all right so now let's first of all test our movement input using the keyboard and then using the controller okay for now the player will not move but it will just read the input movement so now if i press w as you can see y becomes one and if i press s y becomes minus one if i press a x become minus one and if i press d x become one okay and now if i uh, pick up my controller as you can see when i move the joystick forward it is one if i move the joystick backward or in the downward direction it is minus one and then left and then this is right okay and as you can see when i rotate it 360 you can notice the values changing according to that okay so it means that the controller is working perfectly fine you can also test this using your own controller keyboard and also your ps4 or ps5 controller as well whatever controller you have it will work on all of the controllers all right so now once this is done in the next video we will add the clear movement using these inputs.